Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through polynomials. In the last session, we have seen the factorization of a quadratic polynomial by splitting the middle term. Today, let's see how can we apply the factor theorem in the factorization of a quadratic polynomial. Can you say, what is factor theorem? Yes. If any polynomial p of x of degree greater than or equal to 1 is divided by x minus a and if p of a equals 0 then x minus a is a factor of p of x conversely if x minus a is a factor of p of x then p of a equals 0 let's do one example Factorize x square minus 7x plus 10 by using factor theorem. Let p of x equals x square minus 7x plus 10. Since it is a second degree polynomial, it contains two linear factors. Here, constant term is 10 and coefficient of x is minus 7, which is negative. Then, Factors of p of x are in the form p of x equals x minus a multiplied by x minus b, which implies p of a equals 0 and p of b equals 0. That is, x square minus 7x plus 10 equals x square minus a plus b multiplied by x plus ab. Comparing constant terms, we get 10 equals ab. That is, ab equals 10. We know p of a equals 0 and p of b equals 0. So, it is clear that a and b are the factors of 10, which are zeros of p of x. That is, if coefficient of x square is 1, then any zero of p of x is a factor of the constant term. We know factors of 10 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, and plus or minus 10. Substitute these values in p of x and see for which value of x p of x becomes 0. When x equals 1, p of 1 equals 1 square minus 7 multiplied by 1 plus 10 equals 1 minus 7 plus 10 equals 4 is not equal to 0. That is, p of 1 is not equal to 0. When x equals minus 1, p of minus 1 equals minus 1 whole square minus 7 multiplied by minus 1 plus 10 equals 1 plus 7 plus 10 equals 18 is not equal to 0. That is, p of minus 1 is not equal to 0. When x equals 2, p of 2 equals 2 square minus 7 multiplied by 2 plus 10 equals 4 minus 14 plus 10 equals 0. That is, p of 2 equals 0. Therefore, by factor theorem, we can say that x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. When x equals minus 2, p 
p of minus 2 equals minus 2 whole square minus 7 multiplied by minus 2 plus 10 equals 4 plus 14 plus 10 equals 28 is not equal to 0 that is p of minus 2 is not equal to 0 when x equals 5 p of 5 equals 5 square minus 7 multiplied by 5 plus 10 equals 25 minus 35 plus 10 equals 0 that is p of 5 equals 0 therefore by factor theorem we can say x minus 5 is also a factor of p of x that is x square minus 7x plus 10 equals x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 5 therefore the factors of x square minus 7x plus 10 are x minus 2 and x minus 5 let's do another example factorize 6x square plus 17x plus 5 by using factor theorem in the factorization of a quadratic polynomial if coefficient of x square is unity then factors are in the form of x plus a multiplied by x plus b here coefficient of x square is 6 so let us make coefficient of x square unity taking 6 as common factor we get 6 multiplied by x square plus 17 by 6 x plus 5 by 6 which can be written as 6p of x where p of x equals x square plus 17 by 6 x plus 5 by 6 now in p of x equals x square plus 17 by 6 x plus 5 by 6 constant term is 5 by 6 and coefficient of x is 17 by 6 then the factors of p of x are in the form p of x equals x plus a multiplied by x plus b which implies p of a equals 0 and p of b equals 0 Therefore, x square plus 17 by 6, x plus 5 by 6 equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus ab. Comparing constant terms, we get ab equals 5 by 6, where p of a equals 0, p of b equals 0. a and b are factors of 5 by 6, which are zeros of p of x. The factors of 5 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 5. The factors of 6 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6. Therefore possible factors of 5 by 6 are plus or minus 1 by 2 plus or minus 1 by 3 plus or minus 5 by 2 plus or minus 5 by 3 plus or minus 5 by 6 plus or minus 1 by 6 plus or minus 1 now let us see 
for which value of x, p of x, becomes zero, by trial and error method. p of x equals x squared plus 17 by 6 x plus 5 by 6. Put x equals 1 by 2. p of 1 by 2 equals 1 by 2 whole square plus 17 by 6 multiplied by 1 by 2 plus 5 by 6 equals 1 by 4 plus 17 by 12 plus 5 by 6 equals 3 plus 17 plus 10 whole divided by 12 equals 30 by 12 equals 5 by 2 is not equal to 0 that is p of 1 by 2 is not equal to 0 put x equals minus 1 by 2 p of minus 1 by 2 equals minus 1 by 2 whole square plus 17 by 6 multiplied by minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 6 equals 1 by 4 minus 17 by 12 plus 5 by 6 equals 3 minus 17 plus 10 whole divided by 12 equals minus 4 by 12 equals minus 1 by 3 is not equal to 0 that is p of minus 1 by 2 is not equal to 0. Put x equals 1 by 3. p of 1 by 3 equals 1 by 3 whole square plus 17 by 6 multiplied by 1 by 3 plus 5 by 6 equals 1 by 9 plus 17 by 18 plus 5 by 6 equals 2 plus 17 plus 15, whole divided by 18. equals 34 by 18. equals 17 by 9, is not equal to 0. That is, p of 1 by 3, is not equal to 0. Put x equals minus 1 by 3. P of minus 1 by 3 equals minus 1 by 3 whole square plus 17 by 6 multiplied by minus 1 by 3 plus 5 by 6 equals 1 by 9 minus 17 by 18 plus 5 by 6 equals 2 minus 17 plus 15 whole divided by 18 equals 17 minus 17, whole divided by 18, equals 0. That is, p of minus 1 by 3, is equal to 0. So, x plus 1 by 3, is a factor of p of x, by factor theorem. Put x equals, minus 5 by 2. p of minus 5 by 2, equals minus 5 by 2 whole square plus 17 by 6 multiplied by minus 5 by 2 plus 5 by 6 equals 25 by 4 minus 85 by 12 plus 5 by 6 equals 75 minus 85 plus 10 whole divided by 12 equals 85 minus 85, whole divided by 12, equals 0. That is, p of minus 5 by 2, is equal to 0. So, x plus 5 by 2, is a factor of p of x, by factor theorem. Therefore, x plus 5 by 2, and x plus 1 by 3, are the factors of x square plus 17 by 6 
x plus 5 by 6. Therefore, 6x square plus 17x plus 5 equals 6 multiplied by x square plus 17 by 6 x plus 5 by 6 equals 6 multiplied by x plus 1 by 3 multiplied by x plus 5 by 2 equals 6 multiplied by 3x plus 1 by 3 multiplied by 2x plus 5 by 2 equals 3x plus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 5 6x square plus 17x plus 5 equals 3x plus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 5. Therefore, the factors of 6x square plus 17x plus 5 are 3x plus 1 and 2x plus 5. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today, we learned the factorization of a quadratic polynomial by factor theorem. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Factorize first 2x square plus 5x minus 6. Second, 12x square minus 7x plus 1. That's all for now, see you all in the next class.